was not aware was painting while sitting in the chair waiting. <laughs> but anyway, happy Thursday everybody! Welcome back to what is actually my last- well, not my last stream. The last art stream of the semester! Oh, let me oh god, it's like right in the chair. Ugh! Okay, got it, got it. It's the last art stream of the semester! It is final- still finals week, so I hope you guys, everybody's surviving. I believe we have finals today. Well, they should be done for today, hopefully. Hopefully they're done for today. It is six o'clock, so uh, hope none of y'all are still test taking. Uh, we got tomorrow, and I think there's a f probably a few on Monday. But everybody's getting through. Hope y'all doing well. Um, yeah. So we're back for one more art stream for the spring 2021 semester. Uh, what I did last spring, or well, last end of end of semester stream, was that I actually, um, what did I do? What did I do? I, I tried to like, I combined all of the ideas that we had done before. And I thought about doing that today. Maybe. And then I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not really feeling like a drawing, drawing, drawing them all again while I was looking through the list. So I think instead, we're gonna do something a little more summer themed today. Uh, and I'm gonna draw I'm gonna kind of go with like a medieval castle thing, but it's like a sand castle, right? So we're gonna draw a sand castle as if it's a big old medieval castle. And I think that's pretty fun. So yes. Alright. So let, let me get my, let me get my trusty drafting lines out here. It's my favorite. It's on my favorite brush. It's the handiest of brushes though. Let's see, we're gonna need some ocean. I wonder if the ocean should just be the moat. Is that gonna make it an island? Should it be an island? No, I think it should have a moat. You always give a sand castle a moat. So let me see. So I'm gonna start, we're gonna have like this moat and I don't want it to be like perfectly symmetrical. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, we got a moat. And then we're gonna have, I don't know, we're gonna have a bridge. Bridge over here. I'm gonna try to make it look like it's made out of sand staffel things too. So like the bridge is probably gonna be like a plastic bridge. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And then we have like some of this will be water. Adding a little depth here, a little depth over here. Indicate what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, indicate we got our moat going. So what am I doing? Uh okay, there's our bridge. And then we'll have like the actual ocean over here. Where's my bounding box? Oh, there it is. Okay, I should be facing this way then. Okay, great. And I might, I might make the base a little bit more lenient than I've got it. Okay, let me see. So we got, we got our archway. Okay. Gonna go in. Which way? Gonna go in. Gonna open into like some type of courtyard type of a deal. Here we go. Try to look at it like straight on. Boop. Okay, this one's gonna be the round. The round is the round corridor. One of them. There we go. There's one of them, and then we'll have another one back here. There we go. And then we're gonna have like a tiny, 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 tiny like thing. And then we got some windows. We're gonna have a door over here. Maybe give it like a side bridge, maybe. It's like the it's like the workers bridge. 
This is like the main bridge and courtyard and we'll have like, oh, I'm gonna have these like half, halfway. And we have this, gotta have that going. I'll have this one be like a little open, a little open top, maybe, like why not? And then we got a little bit of a lower one over here. Good variety, I think it's neat. This is like the horse stable, like over here. I don't know, it's the horse pasture. Horses, castle's got horses, they gotta go somewhere. Can't stay scooped up in the castle. Yeah, that's what this is. I'll have like another door over here, cause this is like the garden, castle garden. Maybe like some, something like that. There we go, there's a door. Uh, there we go, this, this is where the horses live. We got, we're gonna have a building over here. It's intricate, this is gonna be an intricate sandcastle. And then, you know, we gotta have our flags up here. Here we go. Yeah, this, is, this seems good. You know, you gotta go to courtyard here, too. I wanna leave that open. Okay, great. Hello, Claire. We're building. I've decided for it to the stream going in the summer, we're gonna make a sandcastle, but like it's a medieval castle. Like, so imagining a sandcastle, but it's, it's really big. <laughs> it's actually a castle. So this is, this is our sketch for, for the castle. We got, we got our courtyard and the little spin-off things. And that's a garden because this is the kitchen and that's where the horses live. This is because his, 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 his stable. The stable. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Medieval sandcastle. It's gonna be and this is like a plastic bridge. Okay, great. This is a pretty good outline. Okay, let's get started. I'm putting some walls. What is the best sand looking thing? I it's probably not gonna be guts. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it because I can't erase it once I do. Hmm. It is not smooth hole. It's definitely not that one. Triangle, no. What is concave? I don't know. What do I make the whole thing out of 3D print? <laughs> I think I could, I think I could, but that'd be really hard to control. It'd be even harder to control. Maybe not 3D print. Uh. Music, by the way, is brought to you, is brought to us by uh, No Copyright Sound, going on Twitch. Appreciate them greatly. Let's see, I don't know what to use. Dry brush? Kind of looks sandy. Alright, maybe I'll just pick one of these. To, and I'll just... Stable for crabs and pelicans! Yes, that's even better! Oh my god, I need to make my chat smaller. It's massive, hold on. Small chat. That's not helping. Hold on. My chat's too tall. Wait, I'm ba I'm backwards. Hold on. A little, a little smaller chat. There we go. Scrunch down a little bit. I can read it. It's gonna be crabs and pelicans. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make it bigger. I think I have to up the scale of this whole thing. Okay, let's see, undo all of that, great. Alright, I think I'm gonna, I think we'll just do, we'll add some texture to it later. Does this look like sand? Sand actually really doesn't have, oh, that's a good sand color, actually. Well, let's see, we got sand. I'm gonna have to add some content to this somehow. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna, making the actual sand castle is gonna go pretty quickly. I need to use the straightener tool that way it like 
flattens itself. It is a good color. There we go. Pre-stream was trying to figure out how to uh, how to get everything I had uploaded the Google Poly uh, off of Google Poly, so I can upload it all to Sketchfab because Google Poly is closing itself. Wow, this is the most slanted, which is really unfortunate. I'm very sad. So I have to get everything off of Google Poly and put it to Sketchfab so I don't lose all my files. I'm really play it. But Sketchfab only has like a, a one upload a, a, like a month type of a deal. So I gotta figure out how that works because it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit of a strange policy. And I'm not gonna pay for Sketchfab because that's uh, I don't, I'm not gonna use it enough for it. I actually justify paying for it. Okay, great. There's one. Let's see, I don't like. I mean, I guess I'm gonna like draw over it anyway. Because I know there's a thing where you can uh. You can export your Google data, which I did, but it's all tilt files. So I think I have to open it up into Tiltbrush and then manually export everything to uh. Sketchfab from within Tiltbrush, which is kind of a hassle, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's get this one going. I don't think I like how like sturdy that is compared to how unnatural the like natural look in the bases. So I'm probably just gonna redo that whole that whole section. Let's see. Oh, we can put some shells on the side. That's always fun. I always do that when I make sand castles. Try to put shells on the side of it. There we go. We gotta decorate it. We gotta decorate it. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going with the sand for now. I'm gonna add over here. This is like... I don't know, it's like the kitchen area probably. Probably, maybe. I am not a castle architect, so like, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know how this works. They didn't look up any reference, which is like, you know, you should look up reference if you do art. Be sure to always look up reference, kids. It's okay. You're allowed to work up reference. Okay, we got our cow we got our castle entrance here. There we go. We're gonna get some more of these. Little divot. We might put tiny flags and all Oh, excuse me, all of them. Blech. Go. I've been thinking about what I should play tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm just gonna play through Witchblood again, because we didn't finish that. Or if I'm gonna play through something something I haven't played before, but I've been wanting to play. But I don't really know what type of game that would be. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm trying to think trying to think about it. It'll be a good last VR stream. Any type of games chat would like to see? Let's see, then we gotta get this one over here. We got all right, we got our side we got our back door. It is the the back castle door. There we go. Gonna fill it in in here. See, if I'm a person sized, it's pretty claustrophobic castle, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, maybe I should make it bigger. Oh, thank you, Mod. I was very happy to see the end of Alice Mystery Garden. That was a fun one. I think the castle should be bigger. I mean, I haven't been in an English castle, but so I'm basing my reference on, uh, 
the shows I watch, or like I don't even watch a lot of shows of castles. I've seen glimpses of castles inside of TV shows, and they're kind of a lot bigger than this. So um, I might uh, I usually I think they, what they do is that they have inlets, which also helps with the courtyard feeling open. And I didn't do that, so I think I'm gonna make it bigger. We're gonna make it bigger, guys. Let's see. We gotta we gotta move some stuff. This is gonna be complicated. It's complicated in the move. All right, hold on. We're gonna move this tower out. This one, this one's going out a bit. It's gonna go over here, like this way, just out this way. Okay. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this. A stretch. Well, I'm gonna delete the base. Hold on. Gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'll redraw it. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna move this over here. There we go. Got some room now. Let's see. Let's see. Get that human on the scale. Okay, it's a little better. I think I'm gonna have to go about this in a new way. Hold on. That back there. Mm, I kind of want to do the inlet thing, which means I'm going to have to remake these smaller ones. That one's going to be massive. Oh, that's going to sit right there. Yeah, I'm going to have to remake these. Alright, let's just remake. I'm not liking how it's going right now. Alright, I have the drafting line show up again. Though it's not really going to be that nice. Alright, let's, let's try. We're going to build this from the human perspective. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's see, let's see. Are we small enough? I am small enough. Okay. This is how big a person would be. Ideally. So let me see. Okay, let's see. We gotta make... I need to do is... We gotta make, we gotta make a connecting arch thing. Right there. Okay, and then we're gonna make, it's gonna have a wall over here. That'll be like the outside wall. Like these, these are the outside walls. And then here, here's the door also. Got the door, but in here, we're just gonna have some pillars. Pillars. Pillar. Some more pillars. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got some pillars now. Alright, and then over here. Uh, okay, this one we're gonna come out also. We're gonna come over this way. We gotta have like the roof thing. Gotta connect a little bit. I'm gonna go down a bit. I don't know about here. And then the back wall. Is over there. Yeah. And then it's two floors. Two floors. Right. And then we're gonna have double pillars. There we go. There we go. So then you can have people walking up here and then walking down there and then over here. Let's see, what did I have? This is the front gate. I don't like this one. Don't like that. Didn't like it. Okay, front gate. Gotta be pretty thick. Gotta keep us safe in here. Oh, let's see, let's see. Gonna make it pretty, pretty thick. And then I'm gonna go over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to like adjust <laughs> all the size of things. It's gonna keep being. This is a thick one. It's like the, this is, this is the choke point. There we go. There we go. And you can have like some guards up here too. A little, little, like, in cave. Where the guards would sit. Nobody's ever gonna see that, but I will acknowledge that it's there. <laughs> okay, and then over here. 
Let me see. I was gonna kind of go out some more. So this is gonna go this way. It's gonna go this way. I do want it to be taller. I cannot see what I'm doing, but that's it's fine. <laughs> it's totally, it's actually okay. Let me see. Yeah, kind of like that. Well, I'm gonna have connected up here. This is where this goes. There we go. And then the walls over here. So more walls. Actually, it's supposed to be a door over here somewhere. There's gonna be a door right here. This is the door. Right there. There's the door. Okay, good. And then we, yeah, this is pretty open. So we're gonna put some more pillars like around here. I don't know, here and here, here. Going great. And then there'll be like a second mm, a storage thing here. I don't know. It's kind of like an open, open area, open room, but you can see it. Okay, great. There we go. Whereas instead of a castle, oh, this feels better. I like it. I like it better. Let's go back out. And those little top things. There we go. To the castle. There we go. Got our, I don't know what these are called. I don't know why. Maybe I think I feel like they existed. So like you could stand up here and have cover while you're shooting at invaders. Like that's the only reason I could I, I think they exist, honestly, is is for cover. There we go. Okay, we got our castle. Looks pretty good. Looks real looks, looks real nice. Yeah, okay, I'm satisfied with that. All right, let's add some flags. What color should our flags should be? Maybe they should be NCSU flags. I'm gonna make them NCSU colors. I have, how many flags can I have? Is there such a thing as too many flags? I don't know, I don't think so. I'll put one here. I'm not sure there's such a thing as too many flags. Go like every other one of these. I didn't put enough for every one of them, so we're gonna have to like compromise. Do 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 no. Here we go. And then I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put two up here. We're gonna have a lot of flags. Because a decoration and flags are neat. I should make this brown. I should make it brown. Like they're sticks. Like they're tiny sticks. I'm gonna make them brown. Oh, carry okay, color. Tiny sticks. Okay, got tiny sticks. And then I gotta make a flag. What am I gonna NCSU color? We're gonna make it red. What am I gonna what's what what's actually gonna be the thing though? Does this look like a flag? Maybe. Does this look like a f actually looks like a flag? For what I want, it looks like a flag. Go. 
Okay, I'm gonna make it white. Get some white in here. There we go. I actually want another one of these over here. And then we're gonna have another white one. There we go. We had a lot of flags. <laughs> the flags really do add to the castle experience. We might put some draping down or something over here. I don't know. Alright, let's get some shells. We gotta make some shells to decorate the sides. Wow, what brush is gonna be great for shells? I know I'm gonna try to keep the I know there were blue shells, right? Shells can be blue. Pretty sure. I have like some darker blue shells. In my in my house. What color can show what 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 brush do I make with the shells? Oh uh, <laughs> inverted. Inverted I love me some inverted uh tune. That's my favorite. That's actually my favorite brush. That's nice. That's a nice little color. What is lace wing? That's neat. Oh man. Bubble. Feather? No. Uh, how to make how to make a sh I was just having fun with that, sorry. We'll make a shell. Which one? No. Oh my god. I don't know which one they use for shells. Mmm. Mmm. Hit him. I'm not under hmm. Okay, let me try to make like a sand dollar first. Let's see if I can figure that out. I see. Oh, ice. What does that do? No. Oh my god. Actually, I'm not really sure. This is this. This is the task. The task is trying to figure out how to make a shell. But no, it's not gonna come away. Oh. High fiber color. Well, it's a lot. Y'all, what do shells look like? <laughs> Maybe I should do a flat color. Like the base. Get like a flat matte color and then find something else to draw. Oh my god. I'm not, I don't know. Hold on. Okay, sand dollar, right? That's how you... Oh my god! I have to look up shells. I can't. I can't. My, <laughs> my memory of what shells look like is not optimal. Hold on, hold on. I gotta look up some shells. Beach shells. <laughs> Beach shells. What do they look like? Okay. Yeah, hmm. Alright, this is a good collection of them. They're kind of all sand dollars. Ooh. Better collection. Oh, okay, hold on. Give me a second. This is gonna. 
like the con the easy i they're not hard to draw 2d wise but like it 3d wise is kind of complex i'm not gonna lie all right i'm gonna get this picture Th i like this picture this nice picture all right guess i'm saving okay great good uh no not that one where's tilt brush media okay great and then I want this picture. And then there was this picture is pretty great too. Okay, hold on. Gonna endpoint these in one second. Okay. I walked back in the VR and my sandcastle existing kinda scared me. Okay, let me go to labs, and then I gotta go local media file. Come on, Tilt Push, update. I didn't put them in my folder, where did I just save them to? Oh, I'm an open brush, not tilt brush, that's why. I understand, I know what I did wrong. Okay, hold on. I put them in the wrong application. It's fine. Brush. I'm so used to just playing, calling it tilt brush. Okay, great. Now we're good. There we go. All right, I got cell cells one. Okay, there's one. There's a second set. There we go. I got one of them with this color. That's how, how, how? <sighs> do I just do these spikes? Then do I just maybe I should just put that's not that's not a bad solution. What if uh, maybe if I do this a different color palette? Let's make it. Let's, let's try that one. You know, a program would be really good at making shells. Scope VR. You know, a program I can't get to work. Scope VR. <laughs> I could just make a thing, like make the shape and then paint on it. I, I love the paint on feature in Scope VR. Like it's so good. Oh. Okay, that's a base. And then what if I just make it more orange and use the sp spikes? Sp <sighs> Lofted? Is that a shell? <laughs> Does that look like a shell? 
<laughs> what about this one? Can I make this one? Is that easier? Maybe that one's easier. What if I just what if I what if it just like go away labs? Make a shell. Does that look like a shell? And the Mac code unlit. Ugh. Should it be shiny? Maybe. What if it's a different color? Why is the shell the most complicated part of the thing I'm doing today? What if I do. Oh my god. Is it, what if I do what if I do that? Maybe. May, maybe. Maybe. It is possible. Maybe. Okay, let's try it. Let's try the orange. Let's try the sand dollar. Over here. Right over here. Yeah, I guess it looks like a sand dollar. Hold on, let me just go like, Woo. Okay, maybe, maybe. Right, I'm gonna keep going on this train. I'm gonna go over here. Add that another sand dollar. No, I don't like that color. Kind of making it shiny adds a good texture balance to like what's already on the screen. And then what if I add... I actually think a sand dollar is... Uh, I think I've been calling it the wrong one. I think a sand dollar is the one that's got the holes in it. Okay, okay, this is not bad, it's not bad. This is the tiny door. <laughs> tiny door over here. Oh, maybe, I don't like that color, it's a little bit lighter. Okay, okay, let's try, let's get the, look at the darker one. Let's come out. Like a little, like a little, little mollusk shell thing. I don't know, there's kind of some blue ones over there. We can do a nice blue one. And like windows, kind of like, like that. And then get another smaller sand dollar. What if I put it upside down? Okay, yeah, it could work. Okay, okay. The guy. I'm gonna go over here. I can't see my pictures anymore. Wait, wait, is it? There it is. Mm. 
Okay. The, that's of sand out. Is that the, the this one? Oh, that. That's pretty. It's pretty not good enough color for me. There we go. And then uh, let's get the let's get that weirdly spiky one. To stick it on there. <laughs> no, it wouldn't stay on there actually. Let's uh, let's go. Let's see what's another one of the blue ones over here too. Can you help me find a way? Where is the guy that I need? Can I get some help today? There we go. And then, can you get like a blue one? Look at the maroon one. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna get another one of the long ones. There we go. There we go. Okay, get another sand dollar going. Here we go. It's not really dark enough. It's some, it's some small black one. It's kind of black. Kind of black. There we go. And I get some other ones over here. And then we're gonna get that one. Actually, I need to move these around. I'm gonna move that right over there. And then I'm just gonna put another sand dollar kind of that, kind of that way. There we go. I'm actually gonna move this one too. Put that one right there. There we go. Okay, we got a lot of shells. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I'm gonna put them up here. Oh, where did it go? 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 Put those up there. Where did this one go? Where did it go? Oh, it's right in my face. Okay, good. Alright, I'm gonna adjust my, adjust my sleeves. Okay, let's add some texture to some of these. Here we go. There we go. Okay, I got that one. And then I think this one was also... What did I do for this one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one this is. This is gonna have it go out like this. No, it's not dark enough. There we go. Yeah, it's just gonna stay like that. That's fine. I'm actually gonna go over this sand dollar. I don't. I still don't think it's a sand dollar. I keep calling it a sand dollar, but I'm not. I, I, I think I'm mislabeling it. Let's just have it go this way.
There we go. And then I got one more over here. And then one more right here. Okay, there we go. Got over, got over our shell, shells, shells all done. All right, let's start adding some ground moat. I need this color. And then I'm gonna get the splat because I've used that for dirt before and it's honestly really effective. Splatter is a normal one, right? Yeah. Gonna make it a little bit darker, just a little bit, a little so you can tell it's not the same. There we go, gotta get some sand. And down here. Get the ground in here. This is a little island. There we go. Okay, and then we gotta get. Then we have the rest of it over here. See how big can I make this brush? That belt that big. Just gonna keep just <laughs> keep putting it everywhere. I need to put this pink, this pink shell on the, on the castle. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let me take this. Take this one at least. I like this one. Right there. Yeah. This one I don't like as much. <laughs> I can get rid of it. Okay, and then we're gonna get some water in here. Let's see, you're gonna start with making it kind of like sea foamy, sea foam color. I'm gonna do the diamond first. Well, it's gonna be difficult. Hold on, I gotta make it go all the way under. Yeah, it cuts through too much. Hold on. Okay, we're not gonna do the diamond. We're gonna do the mat. Gotta have the moat. Your traditional sandcastle moat. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna get, you know I'm gonna get my favorite brush in here. One of my other, my next favorite brush. Which, where is it? Which, which one is it? What does it look like? Ah, <laughs> uh, which one is it? Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, wind! I love me some wind! There we go. I love my wind brush. It's just still one of my favorites. I'm gonna make an ocean over here. Should be unlit.
direction we got some ocean water and then if we add some wind on top of that There we go, and then we'll make more of a beach. Man, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. <laughs> gonna move this around a lot. sand over here. Okay, go over here now. Very tedious process of making a lot of sand. <laughs> Gotta set the scene! Okay, great, there's all my sand. Ah. <laughs> Gonna go the other way now, because I had it all going up, so I have to counter it so it looks somewhat natural. There we go. There we go. Ah. All right, man, the sandcastle is really, really, very close to the water. <laughs> very much in threat. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make the bridge hot pink because it's a plastic bridge, bridge, and I imagine that's what color it would be. This child's plastic toy. Go. There we go. We got our plastic bridge. Be sure to pick up your plastic toys, that way you don't get drifted out to the ocean. By the way, PSA today. Take care of your plastic. There we go. Okay, we got our bridge. That's a lot of sand. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna get another bridge. This one's gonna be a leaf. I'm gonna make a big old leaf over here. What if I make it- what if I make it the hue shift? What is that gonna look like? There we go, yeah we got our leaf. Leaf bridge, right here. Gonna have some multiple leaves. Yep, and then this one's gonna be... What type of bridge should this one be? What else can you find on the beach? That's a bigger shell. Maybe it should just be a shell. One of those, one of those conch shells. Make a tunnel? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I wanna see. How do I make that? I 
And why has everybody enjoyed their day so far? It's been kind of chilly today. I'm not gonna, this is a little cold. The rain brought some chill with it. But I've been up and out. It's been it's been nice the rest most of the day. I'm gonna get oh which one? Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Alright, that's not gonna- that's not the one I wanted. Hold on. Nope, not doing what I would what if I do the lofted. Okay, what if I make the base lofted? Maybe. And then we... The spikes. Then it's got the spikes, like a conch shell. I don't know. It's a very strange-looking conch shell. <laughs> we'll give it that. There we go. Okay, and then we go over here. There we go. It's for the crabs and everything that get crossed safely. <laughs> This bit. It's not open enough. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried there we go. Okay, we got <laughs> We look at <laughs> very odd looking bridges over here. Alright, we gotta get our sticks going. I really thought it was gonna take longer in trying to decide what a shell looks like than, than I ended up doing. Alright, okay. We got. Got our tiny sticks. For our pasture. My scaling is very off on this. But it's gonna have to do on this whole project. Okay, good. And now we got got our pasture. For I'm gonna make a gonna build a building. Then it's gonna go up a little bit more. Right over here. There we go. We got that. I just 
There we go. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna draw. Uh, what could you find in a beat to put in? More leaves. Leaves. What is this? To oh, that's such a pretty color. Look at that color. That's beautiful. Is that the negative of this? Cause that's a lovely color. What else do we got? What is this one? Okay, okay. Okay. Ooh. I always love some magenta cyan. Oh god, look at that. It's so good. I guess it's like a little bit of cyan on it. Yeah, that's what it is. Interesting how white is uh it's magenta on this. What else what else would we got? If I go like super yellow. Okay, yellow's blue. What is like magenta? Hmm. I don't know how it decides with the inverse. Oh, okay, wait, that blue is yellow. What is green? Still yellow. And then yellow is blue. Oh, what is black? Can I go black? Oh, are you not gonna let me go black on this brush? Is that what's happening? Oh, look at that. It's actually programmed. It set a limit for how far I can go. That's really it's fascinating. Oh, look! There we go. We got our. We got our. Yeah, fascinating. I don't know how this brush works. So I got distracted. <laughs> I'm mean, just not like a bit of all of that. <laughs> I'm really distracted right there. <laughs> we got some more leaves. It's gonna. It's gonna make some leaves. There we go. We got a nice leaf pile. Yeah. Leaves. We'll have a little bit. No, that's fine. All right, we got our, we got our stick, and then we gotta make some crabs. I don't know what crabs look like. Well, how do I make a crab? Let's see. See, crab. We got the body. Hold on, that's too purple. This tube is too pink. Too pink. Too, too pink. It's even pinker. Okay, let's do no. Oh my god, it's all pink. Ugh. They're not that pink to me. Oh, you know it's good enough. This is good enough color. It's fine. Okay, I don't know. We got it's got no. Maybe maybe this one? Mm. Uh, that color. This color? That color. Okay, this color is good. Uh, I don't know. I got a crab. Kind of hang out. Got crab legs. Those tiny, tiny arms. Okay, great. We got a crab. Here's a crab. Made a crab. The crab enclosure. <laughs> it is a crab enclosure. I'm gonna put another one over here. This is gonna be a hermit crab. Hold on, hermit crab. I'm gonna make. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Ok, 
her. And then we're gonna get a wider shell. There we go. <laughs> we have a hermit crab. <laughs> Enjoyable. This is great. There we go. We got it's our crab enclosure. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust the sand a bit. I know if I erase this though, I'm gonna erase so much sand. There it all goes. Never mind. That's how it is. It's just how it is now. Adam Tell. Sounds like Adam Tell. I love Adam Tell. Sounds like Adam Tell. Alright, I got crabs. I'm just gonna put a pelican, tiny pelican up here. Mm, this is our pelican and crab enclosure. He hangs out up here in the in the in the in the leaves. This is his nest, actually. This is the pelican nest. Sideways, a little pelican man's a little sideways here. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Go, he's our pelican. <laughs> yes, the pelican's the same size as the crabs, which is not gonna question it that much. It's turning out really neat. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look. We got our castle. We have our. I want to save. Let's save our save our castle. <laughs> it's actually. <laughs> You think the pelican is part of the castles, but really the pelican is just a rival tribe that's scouting. And the people are like, oh man, what are we going to do about this pelican? Can't really do much about it. Alright. I'm going to make a farm over there really quick. So hold on, let me get some water. I'm going to leave y'all to look at it. I get some water. I literally just put like my headset on backwards. Alright, let's see. Let's go add a little farm over there where the other bridge is. I'm gonna have to- I need to come up with some more stuff to add to this, uh, this castle. I'm running out of stuff. 
I've already run through my entire sketch. <laughs> The, the water is too high, so I guess I'll, I'll bury it a little bit. Should have fill in the sand for, for a minute. That way it's like super thick and everything. Gets that, gets that thick sand look, and you know, you don't see black every time, everywhere you look. look. I'm gonna cover all my bases. Whiteboard. Okay, great, got I've filled in a lot of sand. Alright, let's go over here. I'm gonna make a sand garden. Let me get my twigs again. Where are my twigs? Twig. Twig. See sand garden. What type of plant should we grow? Uh, you can only grow succulents and like mm, sand <coughs> and cactus. So maybe <laughs> just make a bunch of cactus. There we go. This one gets double because people would be able to fit through here. Well, people are going to be able to climb it anyway. I don't know. The crabs aren't going to get out of the other fence. Okay, great. And then I guess we're going to make some succulents. I'm going to go ham on my double, my, my double hue because succulents have a lot of color to them and they're very nice looking i, I like them i have many <laughs> many succulents at home i wonder if it like picks the opposite color does it must Oh, look at that one. So turn I've, I've used this color before. I recognize this color. Wow, that was a, that's a dramatic shift right there. How did I get that far? Oh, it does let me go to black. Sort of. Doesn't like it, but it lets me go over there. Hmm, very interesting. Maybe it should be seaweed? Can we grow seaweed? 
I have, I don't know. What do you, mm, 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 I'm gonna draw. Do I know what type of plant this is? No, hold on, hold on. Maybe we could draw some seaweed. On land seaweed. Don't question it. Too much. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, this is like the shadow right here. There's this little speck floating and casting a shadow, and I was like, is that a bug? Is there a bug in my VR space? Because it looked like it was moving. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna get to- we can get some, like, of the- the grass. This is inver inadvertently could be some cotton. I'm sure it produces something. With, like, use for wheat? I don't know. Maybe it could be used- maybe it's something- maybe it counts as wheat. Oh. Today I learned that there is a bird called the Northern Ful Fulmar. It's like it's spelled. Fulmar is how it is spelled. And it is a bird that is able to produce its own oil and shoot it at other birds. <laughs> and it's pretty crazy. Like the, the bird is just like you get near my nest. It's like it, I don't think so. It's, it's kind of whack, honestly. Well, the plants can grow on the beach. I'm gonna look at plants that can grow in. Yep, we're gonna be in the sand for a minute because I want to look up if there's any plants that actually grow in sand. Is that is that a thing? <laughs> plants that grow on the beach. Let's see what do we got. Sand salt salt tolerant. What do we got? We got bee balm. We got daylilies. Moss rose. Rub prickly pear cactus. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, ground covers, ground covers and vines. Yo, yeah, I'll link it. Okay, if anybody would like to know plants that do. Oh my god, I can't. Well, I gotta log into Twitch. I mean, I'm not logged into Twitch. <laughs> Thinks I'm not logged into Twitch, so I can't actually send a message. It's kind of weird. Wait. Oh, fine, I guess it won't. Let me, let me share the screen then. Here we go. Alright. Wasn't prepared. Wasn't prepared to share this today. Hold on. Okay. Okay. This is the spruce. Where's the spruce? Uh, it's the spruce. Salt tolerant plants for beach and roadside landscaping. There you go. Okay, here, here it is. What we got? We got, we got some bee balm, flowers and foliage. So we got some ground cover and vines. We got some shrubs and sub shrubs. Bayberry, holly, winterberry holly. Okay, that's very, very interesting. We got trees. Kendry, white oak, red oak. I'm really surprised about the red. We got the red cedar. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what should we draw? Maybe I'll. I'm kind of really curious about some bayberries. That sounds, that sounds pretty cool. And then I kind of want to 
I draw the quick repair cactus. I like that. And a day later. Let's go with those two. How big is this plant? Oh, look at that cool. Okay, okay, you got a plant. Oh, I know plant. Oh, they, oh, they plant. Okay, it's hot. Ah, oh, okay, what's a baby? Bear? Bear, bear, bear? Bayberry? Uh, it's just a plant. It's just a bush. Bush with some purple, purple berries. Good enough for me. Got, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we'll put some cactuses. They'll be good for water. Okay, okay. And then we got, oh, nice little daily. Okay, that's good. Okay, we got a, we got a bear with it. Oh god, we got a prickly bear, prickly, flick, prickly berry, prickly berry, prickly berry cactus. Then no, uh, no, 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 prickly pear cactus, and then we got a bear, bayberry, bayberry cactus. No, it's not a cactus. Oh my god, bayberry bush is, is what the other one is. I'm gonna make a bush, bush. A bush. We're just gonna kind of make a bush. Which one of these is gonna be good? Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna make a bush over here. Gonna get this bush going. I like doing bushes like leaf by leaf. I don't know, it just adds a lot of texture and depth to them in my opinion. Everyone's surprised that stuff can grow in sand. Or it's salt tolerant. I don't know if it actually said it could grow in sand. I didn't, it didn't look that far. Okay, great. And then we're gonna put we're gonna put some purple. Had some purple berries. This is a purple berries. No one might go to do. Yeah. Hopefully it's not poisonous. <laughs> I'm planting a poisonous. Blam! That'd be, that'd be tragic. Actually, be tragic. Be really funny. If I planted the poisonous plant in my, uh, my, my, my medieval castle garden. I think this would be a really fun illustration to, uh, actually flesh out fully. It's a new concept. Of a beach castle. Okay, great. Got that. And then I want I want the prickly pear cat prickly prickly cactus. I'm gonna put that over here. There we go. Oh uh, gonna have that one be unlit. Why? Because no, I don't like it unlit. Never mind. We have some cactus in my backyard, and it's the most resilient plant ever. Like, honestly, we keep running it over with the lawnmower, and it doesn't go away. It, it's just still there. <laughs> We're like, okay, plant, I guess you get to stay. Um, <laughs> it, it won't leave. <laughs> it won't die. And it's probably because we're not attacking the roots of it, but at this point, we're like, that's fine. Just, you can stay cactus you can stay all you want all right, this is a prickly boy but it's gonna have plenty of water which is gonna be important 
You know, I also learned about bird, the bird, the northern flamel, and other birds apparently. See, seawater birds. They uh, they they because they spend so much time at sea, they have a special organ in the back of their throat, which allows them to filter the salt out of salt water, so they can get a drink of water. It's pretty, it, that's pretty, it's fantastic. It's pretty neat, honestly. Imagine if we could figure out how to desaltify water without boiling it. Like, we'd have the water crisis probably solved. But we're not birds, I guess, so we can't really do that. I'm honestly killing time by adding so many spikes to these cactus. I'm not, I'm not even gonna hide it. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to put in this drawing, so we're gonna make this super detailed. Make them real prickly. Real dangerous. Real dangerous looking. Dangerous looking cactus. I wonder how people go about harvesting cactuses. Do they have like really sick gloves maybe? Well you have to. It's kind of like you have those garden gloves that you have to wear when you want to pull the, the weed, the prickly weeds. That have the edges of their leaves be all spiky and you're like ow. It's very territorial and you're like get out of my rose bush. The rose bush is already painful enough but now I gotta deal with the spiky weed. whiteboard Sorry, there's not much to talk about. I'm just putting spikes on cactuses. <laughs> I don't, I just uh, hope you can hear and enjoy the music. Hope everyone's doing okay. Let's see. I think if I were going to plant cactuses, I would plant them in a more orderly fashion than I put them down here. That way you don't have to step over other cactuses to get to the cactus you want to harvest. Like, put them in rows. And maintain them in the rows. That way they is contained with their spikiness. You might need to put a fence too, that way you don't accidentally fall on them. That would be tragic. <laughs> you have so many cactuses, you just like, oh no, and you just fall on all of them and you're like, ow! And then you get more cactus on you because you've got to put your hand on the cactus to get up. And it's just a bad day when you fall on the cactus. It's like a porcupine with how big I made so many spikes. There we go, we got our cactus filled. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put some uh, day lilies. I'm going to make some day lilies. They were a nice kind of like orange yellow color. Make some daily lilies like right in the middle here. Did you know some flowers can be edible? I don't know which flowers are edible, but I know flowers can be edible. There was like a freshman year, I don't know, there was some. There was like one of the many stands that used to inhabit the brickyard 
One of them was about edible flowers. And I had a list. Well, maybe I went to a presentation. I, I can't remember at this point. But I have a list in my house of edible flowers. Am I ever going to eat any of them? I don't know. Maybe a tea one day. But I do have a list of edible flowers. I think I put too many pebbles on this to make it a daylily, so it kind of looks like a dandelion. Definitely looks like a dandelion. Let's make that less saturated. I don't know if like eating flowers is good for medicinal reasons, or maybe it's for like, um... Maybe they have some nutrients in them? Like, no, 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 I don't really know. I don't know why you why you eat flowers. Maybe they're like a, a flavor? Like you can add them to flavor your stuff? All right, this is good enough garden. I'm gonna add some desert sand. Not desert sand. <laughs> I'm gonna add some uh, sand dunes. I'm gonna make some sand dunes over here. I'm like off to the side here. Keep it self-contained a little bit. Another PSA is don't walk on sand dunes. They're very important. Sand dunes add as a very good barrier for tsunamis and hurricanes and they keep the ocean from flooding everything. So you should make sure that you have sand dunes and uh, mangroves too are also very important. Um, are very important ecosystems. Having the mangroves stay intact. But like a... Uh, Coastal, not coastal, it's kind of like Eastern? I don't know. It's like South Pacific, I think. Regions. Mangroves are very important. Sometimes people get rid of them, but they're a good buffer against tsunamis also. Let's see, got some. Uh... You always want to keep your, you want to keep your uh, sand dunes and you want to keep your mangroves intact. We have some protection, or else if you also live on the beach, you could try to get a uh, hurricane certified roof. I think it's an A-grade roof. It'll help keep, the, help keep your roof on, which is typically if your roof goes, then most likely your whole house will go. But, you know, the, if, you, uh, if you can keep the roof on your house during a hurricane, you'll be pretty good. And then also, what else have we got? What are the safety tips that I maybe learn? Just making sure your house is try to try to try to make your house a little bit built up to standard. You know, it might cost a little bit of extra to uh, get your house up to a uh, you know protection standards, but typically it's, it's better than losing your whole house later, especially if you're in a floodplain. You know, I'm gonna get that flood insurance. This is my pee. This is my, I don't know what the soapbox is. It's not even a soapbox. I'm just trying to spout stuff I learned in natural disasters last semester. It's really complicated. Disaster prevention is complicated. If you're gonna build in the floodplain, know the history of the floodplains. Definitely important. And like, what is what is the highest recorded flood in the area? And then honestly, add some. Because <laughs> like, you know you could. Because it could go higher one day could go higher and you want to you want to be you want to kind of be prepared for the mindset of well what if it goes higher one day you know you don't want to be caught in the off guard chance the 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 surprise it happened it eventually happened one day that's also the lesson most people who get caught in disasters think it get trapped a lot of people get trapped in the it can never happen to me logic i can absolutely happen <laughs> happen to anybody no one is really resilient or like pr not prone to disaster you know we could have a really bad earthquake and I don't think earthquakes are prevalent in uh, North Carolina there was like that one 3.0 earthquake I guess maybe last year I don't remember we had a very mild earthquake last last year maybe it was the year before that I don't remember 
Honestly, I think I was streaming at the time. I have no idea. I just know I, I didn't feel it. And then other people were talking about it. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's all I remember of it. Every time I move, the grass moves with me and it's kind of trippy, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's, I think it's a, it's just the headset, but it's kind of weird. There we go, we got our border of sand dunes over there. Very nice, very nice. What time are we at? Oh my god, I still have like 23 minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'll scale everything up. I could do that. Try to make it proportionally scaled. I mean, this castle's gotta be bigger. Which means I'm probably gonna redo my moat. Or I could scale down the birds and the crab. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me scale these guys down. And I'll add more of them. Trying to adjust my scale a little bit. Let's see, have the crab. Okay. We got tiny crabs, and then we also have giant crabs. Giant king crabs. This is the. I'm gonna make a king crab. King crab! You know, the last time I had crab, I haven't had sea crab in a long time. Because the last time I had it, I had a king snow crab from, uh. From, um. I'm gonna put him like halfway in here. From Red Lobster. Honestly, it was very. I had way too much seafood. I was very sick. <laughs> I only remember being sick from that amount of seafood. <laughs> But I eat a lot of sushi. <laughs> this guy's sticking out a little bit. This one's gonna be... More like down there. I just put them everywhere. Oops. There we go, we got a little crabs now. And I'm gonna take the pelican, I'm gonna make them smaller. And put more of them hanging out here. There we go. And then this king crab. I'm gonna give him a tiny crown. Again, I will use my disco brush for like the second only time I will ever use it. It is king crab. Queen crab. Can I make this white? No. Do I have to make it saturated? Yeah, I gotta make it pretty saturated. Get a topaz up in here too. No, it kind of looks the same. Let's get an amethyst. And then aquamarine. And then... I don't know. We'll make it a diamond. Maybe I should. Hold on. Maybe I should. Do that instead.
Or... Yeah, let's do that instead. Get some rubies in here. Yep, we get a topaz, tiger's eye also. You know, it's a good one. Get some aquamarine. I don't know, I'm just putting gems on it. And get to get that diamond. There we go. King crab! Okay, <laughs> so it was a king crab. Alright, I think I'm done adding stuff to it. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 I think it's fine. I don't know if I can... Can add something in the water? I'm gonna add a shark. Let's add a shark out here. Let's make the water a bit bigger. There we go, and is that a shark out here? Cause I can. Boop. No. There we go. There's a shark. Shark fin. What? There we go. <laughs> the rain where's the rain one rain 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 don't go away I need you here today there's the rain has it rained a lot this summer this spring there it goes strike made a strike strike out there Way out there, but <laughs> he's just there. All right, I'm gonna take taking some pictures. I honestly, I, just, I think it's good enough. I think it's fine. I think it's all good. Let's see, we got. Let me mess with the lighting. Let me mess with the lights. Let's take it. Let's take up the lights. Let's see. Let's make it a high, a nice summer day. Ooh, man, look at that dose of the colors. <laughs> this is sunburned. Pretty sunny day. Yeah, and then the shadow is gonna be. Let's have it be cool, a cool shadow. It looks pretty nice. Here. Fill light, what is this gonna do? A bit of a beachy color. There we go. That's some good lighting. Okay, great. Got my lighting. Lighting's always important. You want to always light your... Let's change the backdrop. Oh, what do we got? Some heavy fog. <laughs> Can't see the shade. It's very, it's very interesting to see what the fog does to the, the hue one. It actually really makes the, the bottom, the other color, stand out a whole lot. It's super yellow. It's really neat. All right, where, I want it to be blue. Yeah, blue sky. Blue sky. Okay, great. There we go. Yeah, get that sandy look back there. Fantastic. Okay, great. Now we, this is how you set up a shot. Ah, uh, looks like a beautiful sandy day. That's a little bit more fog. There we go. We got our... 
Can I see in castle? Got a shark out here. Gonna need to make... I gotta make more of a backdrop for the shark. That way it looks like he's in the ocean. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. That way I can make it kind of look like there's a horizon line. There we go. So now it looks like he's on the horizon. Here we go. Okay. Got a crab farm over here. King crab. With pelican. I love my pelicans, honestly. They're really great. I'm gonna turn some of these guys around. Like, they'd be facing the other way. It'll make the it'll make pictures more interesting. Okay, great. Here we go. There we go, and then we got our garden over here. It looks real nice. Really close up on these prickly cactuses. Get that back side over here with the shark in the background. So you gotta go over here. You gotta fit, gotta add a little bit more over here. Whoop, a little whiteboard. Continue to look like there's a horizon line. Of course, it looks like there's an incline <laughs> instead, but you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna deal with it. Oh, it gets the photos in there. I don't want that. Get away, photos. Get, get out of here. Away. There we go. There we go. One more close up of the castle here. All right. Can I add a meteor to this guy? You know what, Garfield, just for you, I will. I will add a meteor. I did make a model of a crab. We got a crab, he's over here. He's hanging out. All right, let's go add a meteor. <laughs> Gotta go way up here. Let's see, what's how I get? Gonna make a rock. Gonna make a big old rock. Let's make it look. No, not this go. What could be the most textured looking thing that I have? Charcoal? Charcoal. Alright, let's make, let's make, let me get a sphere. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming over here. There we go. Kinda looks like a cheese puff. <laughs> like, oh, she's like that. There we go, okay. 
And then we'll make some smaller ones. So I will duplicate this. Now it looks like a it looks like a ball of hair. <laughs> now it looks like a meatball. It looks like a lot of things, not gonna lie. Wheelie looks like a meatball now. There we go. Okay, we gotta get the comet brush. Gotta add some tail to it. There we go. I've never had such a good use for the Comet brush before. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. It's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have that multiple. There we go. And then... Let's see. Where's my star brush? I have my star brush. Space. Space is gonna be... Oh my god, actually, let's add the space brush. There we go! Ah, it's super bright! <laughs> it's so bright! Just a little bit. There we go. Hold on, let me... The space brush is the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. There we go. <laughs> it's so bright. And then I need... What is Fairy gonna do for me? Is Fairy gonna help me out here? No, not really. Not in the way that I want it to. Where's the star brush? Sparkler is gonna be like... Spike was actually really interesting. Actually works for this. <laughs> it looks real good. Yeah, the meteor looks fantastic. Okay, hold on. What else do I got? Uh, I got electric. Is that some electricity on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, ah, uh, here's my stars. No, that's not. It's kind of an ember. Sparkler, the, the sparkler brush has really taken over. What's the fire gonna do? There we go. Fire through the sky. All right, now well, let's go down. Let's go back down. Okay, I gotta move them down a little bit. <laughs> let's see. Oh God, whiteboard. Oh no, come here. Okay, let's see, you gotta angle it. Oh, sorry, I'm about to blind us all. There we go. That one go that way. Going that way. Towards the shark. There we go. Okay. Down we go. Okay. Incoming. <laughs> Here they come. POV, you're on a sandcastle and the meteor is coming. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's get a good shot. <laughs> P.O.F. You're out in the garden and the meteor is coming. There we go. You're like, huh. You're like, oh, I think something bad's gonna happen. 
Let's go up here. Take some screenshots of this beautiful disaster. They are coming. Boop, there we go. POV, you're a pelican and the meteor is coming. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty then. Thank you for the suggestion, Garfield. Garfield Chan. I appreciated that. I needed something to round this out. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take a video. It's all good. Alright everybody, well it's basically 8 o'clock, it is 7.57, and we're kind of done. <laughs> we made a really nice sand castle, NCSU sand castle. We got, our, we got our pink plastic bridge going into the main hall here. And then we, we got a little like corridor style. I am proud of the architecture in here. I think it's real nice. You know, I add a lot of columns. And I worked hard on that. So, <laughs> with my architecture skills, and then we got... POV, you inside a castle, and the meteor is coming. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, we're gonna go out. Duh, just another sunny hole. <laughs> and then we have our very strange conch shell bridge over here to our crab, crab garden. <laughs> the meteor really adds a lot to this. <laughs> We got little crabs, hermit crabs, and the king crab, and then we got some shells, the big old shark out there, and we have our garden and the sand dudes. That's so good. <laughs> but this was a fun day. Anyway, this is the last art stream for the semester, everybody, so thank you guys for being with me on my painting adventures. Um, oh man, I hope maybe I'll be able to pick these up next semester, but if I don't, and I don't see you guys on another stream, and thank you for watching me and coming with me on all these wonderful adventures. I have one more stream for the semester tomorrow. Uh, we'll we be playing some VR games. I don't know what yet. I'm still working on that. But I'll know tomorrow when I get in here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all my art. And if I don't see you again, have a lovely summer. Hope finals are going well. And I'll talk to you again. Where's the meteor? Where is it? Where is it? I lost it. Oh, it's over there. There you go. Monster, monster, impending disaster coming.